What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here in the channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound. And the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. Links in the description below. Check it out. Let me know what you think, and I appreciate the support. Okay, guys, let's jump into the Land 1.75 update that Cryptomancer shared on the town hall. Now, I covered this briefly in the five biggest takeaways, but there's there's a lot here. I, again, it was it was a pretty massive town hall, so there's a lot here, and I figured it'd be worth actually diving in because we're pretty much at the end of November. I, well, I guess I, I don't know if Cryptomancer is celebrating. Thanksgiving next week, so maybe it's not a holiday for him. But either way, this is going to be the update that we get for what's been completed so far in November and what is going to be focused on in the future. Now, keep in mind, he did not commit to any month release date, although he's saying that, you know, phase one of this, which we'll get into in a second, is still going to be or they're still planning that for Q1. But again, uh, my my immediate thought as soon as he said that was, okay, so not January, right? Because if there was a chance that it was January, then I, I don't know. It's just like maybe he would commit to I, I don't know. I, either way, like when, when, when they give a nebulous thing, but they're like – backdating it or, or just giving it more cushion it's like okay let's let's just go with like february maybe march hopefully and then we'll go from there so either way there's still plenty to be done we're only about halfway if you think about it and if you look at these three little bubbles here uh in the box right this is phase one and then we got phase two which we'll get it, uh, into in a second so you can see anything that's highlighted green is considered done anything yellow in progress and anything white is not started so if we just look at it this way, you have one bubble that's green, right? And this is the new resources, the new work sites. All of this stuff is completed, which is awesome. Um, and then you have the, the bubble down here, which is completely white, right? So wood, stone, iron, SPS as research inputs. I don't know how, I don't know how much work that's going to be. And I think that's, that's the real question here too, is just because they're, they're uh, localized together. Uh, these, these different tasks doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it's all of like this amount of work is the same as this amount, but either way, that's besides the point, only Cryptomancer can tell us. So if we look at the bubble, that's currently in progress, you can see that the LPs have already been, uh, finished, right? So you got the iron and DEC stone and wood, right? Sorry. Iron, stone, and wood, each of them individually paired with DEC. What he's currently working on is the ability to track fees earned from liquidity positions. Now, this is something he said should have been put in from the beginning. I agree it should have been put in from the beginning. I mean, the impatient part of me is looking at this now and saying, well, we lived without it for so long. Do we really need it? Like, can, can if we can get land out in January and just add that in in phase two, is that cool? But obviously, I'm just being impatient. So that's currently what he's working on. And then what the other part of this bubble that has not started is the resource to resource swaps in one transaction. So you'll be able to go directly from grain to wood or, you know, uh, grain to iron, iron to stone. Um, uh, it's all still going to be two different uh, transactions, but it's it, on the front end, what it shows you is going to be one simple thing. So that's how most, if not all, outside of like tribal decks swaps work. Uh, tribal decks is the only one where it's just like it, there has to be a pair there and you have to like figure it out and it's not going to like route it for you. So um, I think that this is great. Like the game will feel nice and DeFi ready for anybody that wants to come in and participate, especially if we do get a lot of crypto native folks that come in and want to participate in land. It won't feel like a step back, which is probably an important thing. So I do want to recognize that. Uh, again, I don't know how long this stuff is going to take, but. Again, I would say we're we're done with a third here. We're done with one third of the middle third, and we're working on this. So we're like we're we're halfway is is where where I would put things. Um, phase two. Now this is something he was saying they still do want to try and get in for Q1, but maybe it drops out into Q2. And I, the thing is, I, I listened to Cryptomancer's part in the town hall twice, and I I don't quite know what exactly he's referring to here when he says update to production and harvesting system to match land 2.0 white paper. That again, it's for what we have right now, it seems to be, I mean, exactly what we were working towards. So I'm not sure what this big bubble is supposed to be. Maybe I'll have to go back through and read the land 2.0 white paper. But this smaller bubble here, the true harvest all is more a quality of life update that they're hoping to, um, uh, that he's hoping to implement where 
you can go in and you can just hit like, you know, harvest all. Let's say you have like multiple regions. Well, actually it's not even multiple regions. Let's say you have land in multiple regions. You just want to go in and not have to click on, okay, iron and then ore and then, or stone and then wood, right? Like you can just truly hit a, a harvest all button and, um, you know, that'll, that'll be that, which would be fantastic. You'll still have the, the individual ones, which would be fine. But, you know, for people who are land barons out there that are collecting land all over the place, this should make your life significantly easier. Now, just to close out this video, let's backtrack to what is remaining in this final bubble, which is the wood, stone, and iron as SPS and research inputs. Now, Cryptomancer was saying that this is probably going to be something, they don't have the exact numbers yet, and it's probably going to be something that is decided as we get closer to the end of the this development, right? So I, I wouldn't expect it until January or February, whenever it's actually going to launch. The, the concern that I have about this, and I'm sure they're thinking about it, right? So this is just like me thinking out loud, not that it's something that might slip through the cracks. But the concern that I have with this is if it's not equal, does that favor certain things? And I know in the long run, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully every resource is going to have a specific utility and have value. But we're so early in the game right now, uh, the land game to be specific, that it's like, okay, well, let's say uh, grain is easy, right? Everybody requires the same amount of grain. Uh, like that's been established. We've had that for a year. But what if like for research, it costs, you know, twice as much wood as stone and, and iron? Is that, is that something that like makes sense? Like uh, the only way that I would think that it would make sense is if, for example, like maybe there's twice as many or ha sorry, half as many, uh, you know, wood producing plots that are out there or that are currently active. I, I, again, I, I don't know what the criteria will be, but it's like, OK, uh, part of me I, and I know it's kind of lame from a lore perspective, but part of me is looking at this and it's just like, OK, well, research and SPS, like all of that should just remain as like balanced as possible. I mean, maybe we get into something where, you know, research takes one of the things and then uh, SPS takes two of the others. Uh, again, I, I don't know how it'll work. And I'm, I'm not talking about grain anymore because grain is relatively straightforward, right? If you if you have grain producing things and you will uh, you will always have people that, that need them. But as we move forward, how do you balance the resources appropriately, especially if, you know, we're, we're at this point, we're like pacing for a year in between major land updates. So if we get this in early 2025, let's assume that there's no other major land updates until early 2026 when maybe they introduce buildings or they introduce other resources, they introduce something else, right? So you're going to have a full year of this. And I just, I, 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 once again, it's just a concern of like, what is that going to look like overall for the ecosystem? But, you know, Regardless, I'm very excited for this aspect of land because, um, again, it's it's going to be something where there will need to be specialization, or you know that that'll that'll push people towards specialization, and there will need to be a lot of transactions and volume in the grain and uh, in all the LPs really, uh, and so. Ultimately, that's going to start burning a lot of DEC. That volume is going to be fantastic. It's going to start paying people more uh, because if you know the higher the volume, the more fees there are, which means the higher the APR is for the uh, for the LPs. Meaning, you know, uh, second and third order effects is that you get more DEC, more liquidity placed in there, which locks up. Uh, lock is not the right word, but you know, more more DEC is thrown in there, and obviously, we're trying to get through as much DEC as possible, eat through it, or put it in places where it can be a uh of, of utility so this is the updates uh, he shared some other eye candy here which we can try to go through if that's something you guys are interested in um so i don't know what he was showing here but this is one thing that he shared uh here's another thing that shows all of the different uh new resources now so you can see that this screen is getting larger and longer and I wonder if, uh, well, our grain's always going to be special, so you can probably keep that there. But this shows where, you know, your harvest all button is. Um, let's see. So regional harvest, this is where he was talking about you, you don't want to put like a, a harvest all button somewhere on the screen probably so that you don't have to click on each of these individually. And then let's see, was there anything else? Oh, yeah, just some other eye candy. They're they're changing up some of the artwork and assets in there for the, the different land types and for the new work sites. Right. So you can start to see some of that, which, again, is pretty cool. If you're into that. Awesome. Uh, if you're not, then it's also not a big deal. Here's the logging camp, for example, which is something that I will have, actually, because I think all of mine are logging based. So that'll be uh, that'll be fun to see. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. And then these are the different LPs. So you can see they look exactly like what we have right now. It's just more than one. <laughs> so relatively straightforward update from Cryptomancer. Again, just hoping that we can get this in the very near future so that we start to see land offer something. Now, I just, okay, I, I know I'm like extending this video longer than I wanted to, but I wonder if this update to production harvesting to match land 2.0 white paper, I wonder if this phase two would also potentially include use cases for research. Um, again, I, that's he didn't say that, but Matt in the past has talked about, uh, or even in this recent town hall, talked about like giving use cases to research specifically. So I don't know what that's going to come out to be like, but um, maybe that'll be part of phase two and we'll still get that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Hopefully this was helpful for anybody that wanted more details, but I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.